Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello there, everyone. I'm Colorful Artie, and welcome back to the joy of Let's Play. <laughs> Today. It's the finale! <laughs> Probably! Okay, well, Marty just ruined my um, calm opening Sorry. a la Bob Ross. You can, be, you can be Bob Ross. I'll be um, his masterpiece The talks, apparently. Whoa, I'm not familiar <laughs> with that episode. So. I don't know either. I haven't seen Bob Ross. Today, we're going to do an Almighty Court case. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I let's can't do this by, anymore. Let's start by painting the court <laughs> No, we're going to paint the court walls. It's so it's <laughs> Anyhow, uh, we're doing Turn About Big Top. Probably could be the last episode. Okay. I can't remember how long the second part is. Yeah, so if it's not the finale, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's December 30th, 2.17 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby number 5. I can't believe it! Acro! It's pretty shocking, isn't it? It definitely is! I do think he was always the most straightforward of the group. That's why. Chiba's unbelievable. <laughs> Acro tried to pin the murder on you on purpose. He... he did. Psst, psst. <coughs> my, my. He's just a little twerp, isn't he? Well, that's one way to put it. <coughs> hey! Hey, pal! You're gonna ignore me after I went all to all this trouble to bring you some evidence? Ah! Detective Gumshoe! Ah, forget it. I'm going home. This guy deserves to be guilty anyways. <laughs> wow, Gumshoe! Now, now, Detective. I'm sorry. Now, why don't you relax a little? We've got some really tasty milk! How about a car trick, Detective? <laughs> well, if you insist. Now, how about that evidence you mentioned? What is it? Here you go! Huh? This was yesterday in Acro's room. The results of our investigation. You can look at it later. But I want to look at it now! Won't Von Karma be mad that you're doing this? That's why this is all a secret. Huh? Look, details are on a need-to-know basis, and we're not really allies or anything. But everything that's happened in court up until now has gone according to our plan. Von Karma looked like she was in a pretty big hurry, though. You'll figure it out eventually, pal. Yesterday, our final plans were put into place. Final plans? Uh-huh. That reminds me, I've got a message from the prosecutor for you. Judgment comes at the very last instant. That's it. And that's it for me too, pal. I'm going home. Yeah, he pulled an all-nighter, so get some sleep. <laughs> what did he mean by that? The very last instant part. Hmm. Everything he said seemed pretty cryptic to me. Probably important. Oh, one more thing. Ah! Don't scare me like that! It looks like there's a large care package from the circus for the defendant. What? <laughs> for me? It's milk. The reception area looks like some kind of dairy. So hurry up and drink it before it spoils. An entire dairy's worth of milk? For me? I love how he's just like, I need to have a glass of milk. That's usually the last thing performers have before going on stage. <laughs> Don't they normally do a tea with lemon? Because it tea helps their lemon, voice. Tea with lemon, honey, That's what the cows did in Dooby Dooby Moo. <laughs> really? Is that what they did? Yeah, where it's like, the pigs were like practicing their interpretive dance. Like, Duck was making sure everyone was going to play with all this stuff. It's like, the cows were drinking tea with lemon. That is literally <laughs> perfect. Yeah, you should... They say you shouldn't drink milk before you sing or whatever. It's bogus. You can do it. You shouldn't drink milk at all, kids. It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like milk. In I place. I literally cannot drink milk. It, it it's just, literally just yeah. just trying to do it that instantly triggers my gag reflex. Yeah. Well, part of it is we're not used to it though. Like, yeah. I think if you're used to milk, it's better. But like. The human body apparently isn't supposed to okay, be. Okay, at, at this rate, it's going to be a two hour episode. So About it's milk! December 30th, 2 27 p.m., it's a district court to not be quarter in every minute. Okay. This court is now in session. Shall we continue our proceedings? Miss Von Karma, please continue from where you left off. I'd like to continue with Akro's testimony, starting with his relationship to the victim. I'd also like to get proof from the defense. Proof of what kind of motive Akro would have to commit this crime. Understood. Now, Mr. Dean Lane? Yes, Your Honor? Please proceed with your testimony. Finally, we get to the motive! Wait, Nick, are you okay? 
Just do me a favor and don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. Oh, also, court record, we got the scarf. Yeah, let we me didn't see. look at that. That scarf stained with his blood in a small quantity of pepper. Right. Alright. Witness testimony about the ringmaster. I believe this is the last testimony of the case, actually. But there's just a lot of like, well, how did he do this? This! <laughs> How about we update the testimony? <laughs> when we were little, we were abandoned by our parents. That's when the ringmaster of the Berry Big Circus, Russell Berry, took us in. I became an acrobat at around nine years old. I wanted to find a way to repay the ringmaster. That was my sole purpose in life. Now remind me, how old is Acro? Uh, he's mid to late twenties, I believe. Okay, so he's been in the circus for like twenty something. Years. Yeah, he's twenty six, and so, his brother's yeah, twenty two. Twenty two. Okay, so he's been in the circus for several years then. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, good to know. Hmm, you're such a thoughtful young man. Maybe not. As you have heard, the witness deeply respected the victim. I wonder how anyone could think that Acro could kill a man that he held in such esteem. You are absolutely right. How could anyone think that, Mr. Wright? Which is why there's no real need for a cross-examination, is there? No! How dare you! Actually, that's the question I'm trying to answer myself. Why would Acro kill the Rainmaster? This might be my last chance to answer that question. Of course I'll cross-examine. No need to question him now. If we don't question him now, they'll be like, Court adjourned! So... Cross-examine, yeah. The defense has a right to cross-examine the witness. Hmm. You're so tactless, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You don't care about justice, do you? You just want to fabricate a motive. Very well, Mr. Wright. Cross-examine the witness. Do it. I mean, because otherwise, what the heck else is going to happen? You're That's gonna be true. Like, well, I all right. Well, it. he doesn't have a motive, so <laughs> corner jerk. Yeah. All right. Somebody's abandoned by their parents. We. we? Yeah, that's what I was immediately noticing. Yes, my brother Sean and I. What? You have a brother? How old were you when this happened, Acro? I was eight years old, and my brother was four. Hmm. Your parents were very cruel, weren't they? Nowadays, we aren't bitter about what happened to us, because it allowed us to meet the wonderful people at the Very Big Circus. Nick, the judge is getting misty-eyed. He's got a soft spot for sob stories, it looks like. Terrible for No! <laughs> There's no crying in court! Let's keep going! <laughs> the witness may proceed with his testimony. <laughs> <laughs> if you say, don't cry, don't whip people, that's gonna make him cry more. <laughs> of pain, at least. How would you describe your relationship with the Remaster? He was like an uncle, a father, and a big brother all rolled up into one. Which is why this is just weird to me. <laughs> the Remaster and my brother were the only family I had. Hmm, what about other people at the circus? This was over 15 years ago. Back then, there were very few customers coming in. So no one really had the time to look after us. They were worried about other things. But the Remaster, he would always come see us with a laugh and a smile. What a beautiful story. That's why I was always thinking of what I could do to help. I wanted to thank him. Nick, isn't Acro such a wonderful person? I know, he seems like a nice guy, which is what makes this so difficult. <laughs> hmm, so then how long have you been a performer? Yeah, I'm almost wondering if he, like, blames the Ringmaster for being so nice to people that, like, he was like, now, Regina, you know, maybe, like, he didn't talk back to Regina, like, you can't put your head in the lion's mouth. That's, like, a bit ridiculous. He was just like, oh, do whatever you want, my sweet little princess pumpkin pie. You know? <laughs> like, yeah, basically. like, that kind of thing. So maybe Acro's like, oh, if only the ringmaster worked that way, then, like, my brother wouldn't have this coma, I wouldn't have these broken legs, and Regina would not be, like, such a princess diva. Yeah, all in one. <laughs> yeah, all in one. It might be that. You started off as an acrobat at that early of an age? I begged the ringmaster until he finally agreed to let me do it. Ever since then, I've been in inc an incredible physical shape. Second thing I'm trying to figure out. Do we ever know if the ringmaster, like, had a wife or if the wife left him or anything like that? Clearly, because he has a daughter. Well, he I know he has a daughter, but I'm saying, point. like, is the wife involved? Like... You she's know, not in the picture. That, she's not in the picture. It's okay. not revealed what happened, but it's not important to the story. Okay, that's what I was wondering, because I was like, well, maybe, like, Acro really liked the wife, but then the wife... No, no. He was no, it! I'm saying, like, oh, liked oh. <laughs> a mother to him, oh, and then, okay. like, he was like, go away, and then, like, all of these things just started, like, 
it's oh, coming okay. down. I don't know. That's also when I decided to form a group with my brother. Your brother who's like four. We called ourselves the Flying Deanween Berries. It's nearly a household name. I've even heard of them in Germany. Liar! <laughs> the point is that I wanted to be of some use to the circus. Hmm, you are truly a remarkable young man. The judge keeps looking at Acro almost like a proud father. Hmm. This may not end well. <laughs> I wanted to find a way to repay the ringmaster. That was my sole purpose in life. Alright. Seems a little excessive. Did you ever have any trouble with the ringmaster? Ow! How could you ask such a thing, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Do you have some sort of fundamental misunderstanding of this witness's testimony? Or the heartfelt emotions contained within? You better think about this, Mr. Phoenix, right? You better think hard! Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Hmm. No matter how you look at it, there is no way I could see this witness ever taking the victim's life. Exactly. I've been waiting for you to say that, Your Honor. Nick, I hate to say it, but I agree with them. I was trying to chase down the truth, but I ended up just looking like a jerk. I wonder if they planned that, then. I think that will be enough for now. Pondering whether or not this witness would kill the ringmaster leads me to... believe that this is pretty much unlikely. Exactly right, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, I'd like to ask you a question. Go ahead, Your Honor. What was Acro's motive for killing the ringmaster? Okay. How about it? Can you explain that to me? Of course I can! I can't provide one. Yeah, you can skip that testimony entirely and it doesn't change anything. Okay. Well, we still did it anyway. Okay, well, I mean, we're gonna have to explain it. Either that or call up somebody else and be like, Regina, get out of the audience! You killed your dad! So you really do think it's all about Regina, basically, as to why he would I think bear some grudges? I think it's definitely a part... Because, you know, he, she practically dated her, her, his brother. And yeah. then, like, the whole accident was basically her fault. And there were all these things. But it wasn't... You know, if she had the right upbringing, it wouldn't have happened. Okay. But because of the ringmaster being such a doting father, which happens a lot, mm -hmm. that... And then in a circus where it's super dangerous to be said doting father, then it could be problematic yeah. and he may blame them. That. Now that I've come this far, there's no way I can answer no, I can't. Oh, this is going to be good. Very well, then please enlighten the court. Let's see some evidence that proves Akira's motive for killing the ringmaster. Uh... So you said it was her? Sure. Uh, actually, I... Oops. Okay. I mean, that's gonna be the closest we get to okay. what you said. Um, let me just go over this one more time. This is why Akira killed the ringmaster? That is correct. I don't think the defense would mind confirming something for me. What exactly are we supposed to learn from this piece of evidence? What are you supposed to learn? <laughs> Looks like you just won the award for biggest failure in court. Ouch. Biggest failure in court. That stings! In recognition of your honor, let me bestow you my <laughs> special prize. <laughs> so now, what will you do, Mr. Wright? I would prefer you to hurry up and prove something. Drats! Now I'm really gonna have to think about this. Okay. Do we actually have to present something? Or can we not provide it? We can't provide we can't it. Provide he doesn't it. have That's one. That's fine. Okay. Maybe he's a serial killer. Who knows? Nick? Yeah. I didn't even have to think about it. It was obvious from the start. Your Honor, the reason that Acro killed the Ringmaster is something that can't be proven. W what? That's because Acro had no reason to kill the Ringmaster at all. Ow! Your foolish attempts to fool us like foolish fools is so foolhardedly foolish. Did you forget? You made an accusation against this witness, did you not? I believe it was. This is the real killer of Russell Berry, Ringmaster. If you want to jump to the end of things, then yes, that sounds about right. The end of things? Acro. You didn't plan to kill the Ringmaster at all, did you? Did he plan to print kill the, Max? Or did the Ringmaster know? wasn't your target that I night. I wonder if he was planning on killing Regina. What did you just say?! I'm saying that the target of this witness's murder plot was not the Ringmaster. He gave the note to Regina. It's true. He did not plan to kill Russell Berry. That makes more sense. What?! Because I was like, I don't understand why anyone would kill this dude. But you- okay. If he didn't want to kill the Ringmaster, I feel like he would be- complete, like, this is someone who's like a father to him, all these things. I feel like he would be completely broken down. In some way. Well. 
Mo told us in the cafeteria, he's like, Acro calmed down a bit, but like when he first learned the remaster was like dead, he's like, he said he couldn't go on. Okay. So we actually did get the. Okay. okay. Order, order! Bailiff, I don't care who it is, smack anyone who's loud in the face! Twice if you must! Mr. Wright, what in the world are you trying to do to my court? Oh! Mr. Phoenix Wright, what in the world are you trying to do in his court? Are you attempting to imply that Acro was trying to kill someone else? He wanted to kill the monkey! <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> this is OW! I have OW! What are you doing? OW! <laughs> There's 14 more where that came from! Hold it right there! You can take your time with the other 14 later. But now, let me see that evidence once more. I'm so scared of what will happen, I can't even move to give him the evidence. <laughs> oh my gosh. He asked you for something. Where are your manners, Mr. Phoenix Ray? Are you attempting to imply something? Yep. It was Regina. Dang! Regina Barry? This young girl is the Ringmaster's daughter, correct? Acro, you were really aiming for her that night, weren't you? The poor girl's in the audience, too! <laughs> you don't need to answer that, it's a mean-spirited leading question! Objection. This makes way more sense now. I was like, this is so stupid, right. all of the- This- okay. he could easily answer this question! If I'm wrong, all he has to do is say, you're wrong. That's it! That's it, huh, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Enough! Mr. Wright, allow me to- OW! The only thing allowed in to interrupt me is death itself! Huh? And that goes for you too, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Show me evidence! Now! I want to know why Acro would want to kill Regina Barry! Y y yes me too! I demand to see some proof! Well, this is now gonna Present be evidence really that proves that Acro was out to kill this young girl. This is gonna be really easy now. <laughs> that we're doing all this. Yeah. Well, the obvious being the... Tiger, the lion, the lion. <laughs> Leon the lion. I gotta Leon get this Leon the right. lion. All right, Mr. Wright. At this point, the only thing that's important is evidence. This better not be a bluff. You're not going to- Oh! You're not going to fool me, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Those two are finishing each other's sentences now. That wasn't it? It must be the special bond between the whipper and the whip. My patience is running thin, Mr. Wright. Really? Pro it's evidence that proves he was trying to kill Regina, not why he wanted to kill Regina. Oh, uh, the, the note? Acro, do you have any recollection of seeing this? That's... It's a piece of paper that we found inside the Ringmaster's tailcoat. Inside the victim's tailcoat? Acro wrote this note. It's ironically t entitled, To the Murderer. Its purpose was to call someone to the plaza at 10 p.m. So you're saying that he called Russell Berry with that note? There's just one little problem. Problem? Acro did indeed place this note into someone's pocket. However, that someone was not the ringmaster. You mean, it wasn't for the... That's exactly what I mean. The person this note was intended for was none other than Regina Berry. It's all falling into place. Order, order, order! M Mr. Wright, this little theory of yours! It's the truth, Your Honor. It isn't a theory. Simply put, Regina didn't think the note was meant for her. Which is why, the morning of the crime, she placed it on the cafeteria The one time board. being a ditz was good! <laughs> the only time! Which is like, what's this? I don't know, I'll just put it on the bulletin board for everybody to see! Nobody can see your pantomime. You do realize I know. this, right? It doesn't matter, my voice works. Good on her! Like, I know she wasn't smart, but she kind of was. <laughs> That's when her father, I mean the ringmaster, read the note? That's correct. The ringmaster ended up in the plaza instead of Regina. And he was killed because of that mistake, instead of Regina. That's... that's... that's incredible! Remember the testimony that Akro gave us earlier today? Lifting the bust and looking out of the window would have been impossible. There's no way I could have exerted that kind of force on my lower body. If I were to do that, I'd end up falling out of the window myself. Acro had no idea who it was that arrived in the plaza. 
because he couldn't look down out of his window to see who it actually was. I've got it! I've got it! Aqua thought it was Regina down at the plaza. And that's when he let the bust fly. Man, the poor dude. Hey, Nick. Isn't Regina listening to all of this from the audience? She is. Unfortunately, it's only going to get harsher from here. I hope Regina can handle it. Mom's there! Don't worry! <laughs> yeah, she, he's probably sitting with her, comforting her. Or she's like, what's going on? I don't know! <laughs> Acro wrote this note to Regina. Objection! Foolishly foolish fool with foolishly foolish fool ideas of foolishly tongue foolery. You're so fool, you even make me sound like a fool-heartedly fool. Very well, Mr. Phoenix Wright. If you're so sure, then tell us about this line. I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Uh-huh. That's a line in the note, all right. Well, then if the note was sent to Regina Berry, it must mean that. The note is declaring that Regina Berry is a murderer. You just don't get it, do you? What? What did you just say? The Rainmaster knew what the note meant, which is why he went to the plaza, in place of his lovely daughter. Wow. This is getting much better now. H hold it right there, Mr. Wright. What is this incident that is alluded to in the note? The incident six months ago. I have no idea. I know all about it! Well, there's the obvious. <laughs> um, well... <laughs> this is simple, Your Honor. If Mr. Phoenix Wright cannot pr provide the, fa the facts of this so-called incident on the note, then there is no way to know whether this note is relevant or not. Moreover, one cannot prove any sort of motive for wanting to murder Regina Berry. Huh? It's that simple. <sighs> of course it's that simple! Nick, I thought you were going somewhere with this! This is getting ugly. All I can do is get out of this mess is... I this mess is? <laughs> All, the only thing I can do to get out of this mess is... Oh, okay. I have to prove the truth about what happened six months ago. Yeah, this is easy. An incident occurred six months ago, and now I am more than ready to show the court what happened at this time. Moron! Wait, are you sure that it relates to the present case? It does indeed, Your Honor. Everything in this case has its start in what happened six months ago. Haven't you noticed this, Your Honor? Every time it's like, oh, well, it's a big case. It's like, there's a case from like a few, like, uh, like for a while ago. Is that relevant? It always, always is. <laughs> I just gotta figure out which evidence is gonna be presented first. Yeah. Really, Nick? I, um, I think so. Well, then if that's the case, hurry up and tell us about it. What is this conclusive evidence mentioned in the note? I know I'd certainly like to know what it is. If I can't answer that question, the judge is going to think I'm bluffing. The conclusive evidence about the incident six months ago is actually... Do you know this? The conclusive evidence. Okay, yeah, because if we is... if we look at the note, he's like, I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Well, he, he was hiding the uh, scarf pepper. Was that a photo in his room? So that may be what it was. The scarf. Scarf with blood and a small quantity of pepper. Well, no, but that doesn't show. Was it the lion? Then. No, he personally. So Acro wrote this. Acro has conclusive evidence of what took place. Okay. Uh, so just pepper? think, just think it through. Yeah, it is actually the pepper. All right. But we're gonna be stupid. We haven't used the pepper yet, so I figured. What? This is it? Well, um, I kind of figured that I'd try and get rid of evidence I don't need anymore. <laughs> well, from now on, you can do those sorts of things at home on your own time. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Please present this conclusive evidence, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I think the judge may be one of my favorite characters. <laughs> <laughs> he is great. I'm almost to the big climax of this case. Which means that no matter what, I can't mess up again. But yeah, it's the pepper. Because the Acro put the pepper in the box, which he put at the scene. So basically uh -huh. he's like, come get the evidence. Yep. And then he killed the person who tried to do it. Hmm. A true! A true! A true! A true! A true! A true! What kind of spicy joke is this, Mr. Phoenix Wright? It isn't a joke at all. It's the decisive evidence you asked for. W w what do you mean? The victim would arrive and try to take away the wooden box. That's when they discovered the decisive evidence found inside. Another unbelievable conclusion. Very well, Mr. Wright. So what exactly are you saying? 
Are you claiming Regina Berry killed someone with a small bottle of pepper? Taking the note into account, that's the only logical conclusion you can draw. Foolish fool who never tires of his own foolish ways. If you're so sure, Mr. Phoenix, right, then answer this question. Who was Regina Berry's intended victim? <laughs> yuck, 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 yuck. What's wrong with you? You can't just pick random people. What was that just now? I'm s sorry. I was just, um, practicing. The court orders the defense to keep his practice sessions restricted to his phone. <laughs> yes, your honor. Foolish fool who never tires of his foolish <laughs> stuff. <laughs> well, I mean, it's this... one of those two. <laughs> it's come on, it's an easy one. <laughs> who is this? That is Akra's younger brother. Objection! What does this prove? His younger brother isn't dead. Technically, that's true. However, Bat has been in a coma for six months now. It's not a stretch to see how Akro could feel that his brother is dead. Regina, she did that to him? Do you spend your entire life date dreaming up new ways to be a fool? Naturally, the prosecution has looked into Akro's brother, Sean Dingling. Six months ago, he was a bit by a lion and fell into his current comatose state. <laughs> he was a bit like a lion, yes. He that's... was a bit like a lion. <laughs> Rawr! Okay, and then he just and... falls into a coma. Yep. A uh, lion? Regina, I mean, Miss Regina Berry, is an animal tamer by trade. However, no tamed animal in that position is ever trained to attack another human. They wouldn't understand the command. Moreover, Miss Regina could never do something like that, it's just not in her. I think it's possible. She's weird. She's like, I think everyone dies and they fall into the stars, or they, they become stars. She becomes star. It's like the Lion King, remember? Yeah, it is, like the Lion King. Hmm, so then what happened to Akro's brother? He's not the victim of any attempted murder. He's the victim of an accident. I see. Now what do we do? No one seems to be going along with your theory. Do you think what happened to Bat was actually an accident? It was just an accident. It was more than that. Everyone was like, the lion was smiling, and blah blah blah, and yeah. <laughs> she trained the lion to enjoy biting people or something? <laughs> that would well, be creepy. I don't know. It's a lion. Lions do whatever they want. I mean, you could. Haven't you ever been on Kilimanjaro Safari? He said Disney World. Guess what? You're in an armed vehicle that the lion cannot bite you while you're. Okay. In it. Every time I've been on that ride, every the time the lions, lions are just are like sleeping. asleep, like play. Hey. Because they the have females, to sleep for twenty hours. Yeah, and a day. then the females are out hunting. No, the females are always snoring away as well. Yeah, the males are just snoring as well. They're <clears> cute <throat> kitties. I suppose it was truly an accident. It's essential that a man knows when to give up, Mr. Phoenix, right? Hmm. It's impossible to prove Regina's involvement in a murder attempt, isn't it? Ha! Huh. Investi- Instigating. Not investigating. Instigating a lion to attack? Who ever heard of something like that? <laughs> investigating a lion attack? Who ever heard of that as well? <laughs> and to think that the defense claimed that this was conclusive evidence. Uh. A small bottle of pepper. A lion? What's their connection? Oh my god. Ah! Oh my. What's the matter, Nick? I figured it out! Wow, it was right in front of my nose the entire time! <laughs> Your Honor, wait. Wouldn't it, what what would, is it? If you made the lion sneeze, wouldn't it be like, Bleh! and then, like it would just spit all over them? <laughs> all over <laughs> aggro? The lion biting bat was no accident at all. W what? Are lions. Do lions have problems with pepper? Do they sneeze? Do lions yeah. sneeze? You're what such you an gonna... amateur, Mr. Phoenix, right? There is no way that Regina would ever incite, 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 yeah, her lion to attack another human being. She may not have incited the lion to attack another human being, but Regina is responsible for making the lion bite Aqua's brother bat. Well, it's the obvious. It's the crap. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Nick, you sure you want to go with that? Huh? How exactly does this evidence prove the reason that Leon bit Bat? You don't think that there's something better you should present instead? I'd like you to show me the piece of evidence, please. Don't! Oh, gonna have to think this over some more. You're such an amateur. <laughs> What's the wrong one? That's... that's just a scarf. Acro. This scarf is something that Bat used to wear, correct? 
that's right. And who is the one who gave this scarf to Bat? Re Regina. Regina gave it to him. Regina? There's something more than just blood on this scarf, Your Honor. And what might that be? Pepper. Pepper? Pepper. Regina gave this scarf to Bat right before the accident, and she covered it with as much pepper as she could. Wouldn't he have been like, achoo, achoo, achoo. This is weird. I wonder why I'm starting to sneeze now that I have this scarf on. <laughs> <laughs> They're all like, yeah, that's a good point. Hey, what's with the silent treatment? Um, excuse me, Mr. Wright. You've done a good job of fingering a criminal, but out of curiosity, what was her crime? Um... um Re Regina gave a pepper-covered scarf to Bat as a present. Where's the crime in that? Still seems like the judge just doesn't get it. Mr. Phoenix Wright, wasn't it said that lions seem to be smiling? Smiling? The lion was smiling? Right before Bat was bit by the lion. For a moment, the lion's mouth changed and it looked like it was smiling. Lions smile? I've never heard of them smiling, however. Lions sneeze. Apparently they do! Leon didn't plan on biting Bat at all. In reality, all he actually did was sneeze. Worse that like yeah, because he didn't want to. And do then it. he died from it. He sneezed because of all the pepper spread on the scarf. This is so sad. Well, what? <laughs> That's not sad at all. I hate not. You fool! <laughs> Man, that is so ugh. Poor Leon. Ugh! To be fair, Leon was already really, really old. No, but I'm I'm so mad at Regina. <laughs> I'm so mad at her. She didn't mean to do it. All she wanted oh. him to do was sneeze himself. Like you said, he, she just wanted Bat to be. Achoo! Why am I suddenly sneezing? No, I. But like, <laughs> she planned it so much. Maybe wait. Was the joke that she tried to put pepper on him? Like because he would always shake it on her and make her sneeze. Oh, okay. It wasn't intended to have the lion. No, I no. She did it on purpose. I'm like, what a terrible person. That makes more sense. Yeah. So it's literally tragic on all wow. accounts. Oh my. You've gosh. got to be kidding me. Projection.